we're testing this, this is uh, a gas furnace. This is one of my mules here. It's running about 6.35 amps. It's started, it's burning, so on. Okay, I'm going to hook this up to this inverter and let's see if it'll run. Now note, this thing has a variable speed inducer. And of course it's electric ignition. Let's see if it uh, upsets anything here. Okay, now we're going to start this thing using the inverter and see what happens. Okay, the variable speed inducer has come on. The burners have come on. Amp draws about 0.73. Let's see what happens when the fan motor comes on. Fan motors come on, we're at about 6.321. Uh, about 6. Uh, 6.1. Okay, it, it's all working. I mean, the burners are working. Uh, I want to see if the flame failure works. Yeah, it did. It shut off. Okay, the burners have come back on. Uh, well, I'm going to block off the uh, inducer outlet to see if it'll speed up normally. It has sped up, you know. Uh, I don't know. It does work. I'm kind of amazed. I, you know, I do understand that most of the parts on this thing run off DC, and uh, so there has to be a rectifier to uh, change that uh, AC voltage. Uh, but you know, I don't know. The furnace does run. Here we're going to do another test of the Best Tech. 2000 watt inverter to see if another model of furnace will work normally. There's the inverter there. First we're going to start this thing, start this uh, furnace on normal power and see how it works and then we'll try the inverter. Okay the fans on now, operation's pretty normal 15.9 amps. Now I'm going to shut it off and we'll start it up with the uh, inverter and see how that works. While I'm waiting for this to start, give you an idea of what furnace we're looking at here. It's a fifth carrier 58 SS. There the burners just came on. Pretty soon the fan motor is going to come on. I'll jump over to that and we'll see how it reacts then. Okay, the fan motor's on. Kind of started pretty slow. Now this is a big motor. That's a three-quarter horse that I was using on another video. It's running 17.5 amps, and we were running, I think, 15.9 on the other one. It's pretty much similar to what we've seen before. It's not that far off, but it does uh, it does draw a little more amps than normal. Burners are fine, you know. They kept kept running and everything so everything's working as it should so it'll actually work with this old 58 SS carrier okay so this thing actually has worked with a couple of furnaces one of them quite new one of them about 25 years old I'm going to be testing this thing on a couple more furnaces to see if there's any real problems there but uh, so far, it has performed okay. Does draw a little extra amperage over what the house power amperage was.